Good morning. I'm bringing a quote to you today from Carl Jung, world-renowned psychologist, uh, creator of analytic psychology. He has a quote that goes, what you resist will not only persist, but it will grow. I want you to think about this as I give you an exercise to release shame. Uh, shame is one of the ways that we continue to play small. And I wanna give you this gift this morning. So as you step into your day, I want you to take just a moment and do this exercise with me. I want you to take a few deep breaths and I'm not gonna do the whole thing with you, but I want you to do it when we get done. You can use this as a tool to come back to earmark it, save the video, share it with someone who might need a release from shame today. But I want you to honor your body as we step into this process of releasing shame. So I want you to close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and I want you to pay attention in your body where you might feel shame. This might be a sensation of a memory of maybe being abused as a child. Maybe it was where you were hit. Maybe it was where you were shamed. Maybe it was a body part that was never good enough that someone was trying to get you to eliminate. Um, maybe it was your whole body. So I want you to take those breaths and I want you to pay attention in your body where you feel shame tingling. Um, maybe there's a sensation of like darkness or heaviness. Wherever that feeling is, I want you to step into that feeling and I want you to allow the feeling of shame to come. We're not going to remain here, but we can't move out of shame until we allow it to come forward. If you feel like you need to take a moment to journal, please do that. I want you to feel into that feeling of shame. And then as you're feeling that, you might have tears you might have anger, you might have frustration, allow that to come to the surface. And I want you to step into that. Next, I want you to take a breath and breathe into that space. And as you breathe into that space, I want you to imagine light filling that space because we can't release shame until we recognize it and call it out of the darkness and then fill it with light. So we're going to just imagine light filling that space. And if you don't feel it in your body, that's okay. I just want you to imagine, <clears throat> starting from your heart center, this light filling you. And then as you are filling your body with this light and this awareness of love, I want you to picture someone that you care deeply about. Maybe it's a pet, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's a loved one, maybe it's a grandparent. And I want you to fill that space with love. And look at that person and imagine them in front of you. Imagine them sending their love to you. Maybe they're, they're embracing you. And I want you to use that love to fill those areas of shame in your body. Now, I want you to turn that love onto yourself. So imagine you're standing in front of yourself. I want you to imagine that you're pouring love out onto yourself and giving yourself the gift of light, joy, and love. Breathe into that space. And as you breathe into that space, I want you to imagine that your whole body is now covered from inside to out with that light. And I want you to sit in that for about 15 to 20 seconds. And then as you come out of that, I want you to gently wiggle your fingers and toes and come back to the room. And I want you to breathe in the feeling of joy, of love, of passion, and I want you to take that into your day. And I want you to, anytime that you feel that moment of shame rising, allow the feeling to come forward and then clear the space and fill it with love and fill it with light. So in this moment, I want you to release the shame barrier and drop into that open space. And now we're going to attract new abundance, new joy, new happiness, love, and light. And we're going to give that space for the abundance of a new feeling.